First to six, a neighborhood fed up with construction on a marijuana dispensary. Good evening to you. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. Thank you for joining us tonight. Homeowners say it's blocking access to their street and as a result posing a serious safety hazard. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shawns is live on Spring Park in Walled Lake tonight. So Jen, what are neighbors telling you and how is that project coming along? Well, Carolyn and Dave, according to Loom Cannabis, the headache should be wrapped up in the next several days. Their project is just on the other side of this building here. But as you can see, it's right next door to a small residential street. We've talked to a lot of neighbors here today, and they say the construction is blocking their only access to their small cul-de-sac. For homeowners on Spring Park in Wald Lake, this has been 24-7 for months. This used to be a residential street where you can drive pretty much both ways. But now they kind of constricted it like a, an artery. Like we're, we're a heart attack waiting to happen. The problem, according to neighbors, is a joint construction effort with the building owner, Jimmy Maher, and Loom Cannabis Company, which is leasing space from him for a recreational dispensary site. I have a disabled son, and I worry that the EMS can't get down here. As we were getting interviews, one of the construction trucks got stuck in the snow and blocked homeowner Tammy Logaitis for about 20 minutes, something she says she's used to. They got stuck in the neighbor's yard. There's gigantic ruts in his yard now. No regard whatsoever for any, not one single solitary resident down the street. Loom Cannabis wants to open in March once they get necessary state approval. That's part of the reason work has been so nonstop. We're very apologetic to any negative sentiment that our construction site has caused in the community. The reason that this construction has been such a heavy construction site is we're trying to shorten really what should be a six month time frame down to 90 days. Some neighbors say they're worried the months of work has already done permanent damage to their street too. There's a heavy cement hauler that goes up and down the road when they're pouring cement down here. And I'm sure that they're not going to take care of that when they're done. Now, some homeowners we talked to are also frustrated with the city saying more should have been done about this sooner. I spoke to the city manager. He tells me that the city actually ticketed the property owner for improperly storing equipment in a home right here behind me that he bought on Spring Park. Again, we've reached out to the property owner. We have not heard back yet. Loom Cannabis telling us all of this should be wrapped up in the next several days. Some homeowners, though, say that's just not soon enough after their several months of frustration. Reporting live in Wald Lake, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jen.